Welcome to the series of cadaveric demonstrations conducted by the Department of Anatomy, Faculty of Medical Sciences, University of Sri Javanapura. Today we are going to demonstrate the blood supply of the heart. When we consider the blood supply of the heart, it can be divided into two parts. First, the arterial supply and the second is the venous drainage. When you talk about the arterial supply, heart is supplied by two main channels which are known as right coronary artery and the left coronary artery. First, we will discuss about the right coronary artery. A right coronary artery, you can see here, it originates from the anterior aortic sinus somewhere there, which you cannot actually see. The main trunk after the origin, origin comes anteriorly between the palmar, uh, infundibulum of the right ventricle and the right auricle. Here you can see the main trunk which is the right coronary artery. Uh, it comes, it reaches the inferior border of the heart which is this one. After it reaches the inferior border, it, con it continues to the diaphragmatic surface or the base of the heart as you can see here and ultimately it passes further and anastomoses with the termination of the contralateral or the left coronary artery. Let's see what are the branches of the right coronary artery. One of the highest branch is known as the cornus artery which is this one you can see it passing towards the left side to encircle the infundibulum of the right ventricle. The next branch is known as the SA nodal artery, which is this one, the smaller one. I think you can see it clearly. This is the SA nodal artery. It passes to the SA node, but it is cut here and it supplies 60% of SA nodes in the heart. Then the main trunk continues in the atrioventricular groove, which you can see here, it's a groove here. So this lies within the atrioventricular groove. I will turn the heart a little bit so you can see it clearly. It passes in the atrioventricular groove until it reaches the inferior border of the heart. As it passes in the atrioventricular groove, it gives off number of branches towards the right atrium and towards the right ventricle, which you cannot see in this specimen because probably they might have cut. But one large branch, which is known as the marginal artery, you can see here, it has, it has a little bit of a high uptake here and it runs towards the left side along the margin, inferior margin of the heart. That is the reason for us to call it as the uh, marginal artery. Then, as I said before, the continuation of the right coronary artery runs in the posterior atrioventricular groove, which is this one. And it gives here, when it reaches the interventricular groove posteriorly it takes it uh, the textbook says it takes a characteristic turn and from that turn another vessel is originated which is the av nodal artery but i am not sure about that character whether you can see the characteristic turn of the uh, right coronary artery here at this point uh, but additionally it gives off another branch which is known as the posterior interventricular artery which is this one. You can see it lies in the posterior interventricular sulcus or the groove. After giving off those branches, the right coronary artery continues. I don't know whether you can see this small continuation. Right, it continues further and it is anastomosed, anastomosed with the continuation of the 
left coronary artery which is this one so this anastomosis has been cut off during dissections now we are going to discuss about the left coronary artery left coronary artery can be seen as a small part here it originates from the posterior aortic sinus if i retract this you will get a clear look and if i retract the pulmonary trunk here you can see the artery originates somewhere from here which is from the posterior aortic sinus and this is the main trunk of the artery sorry i cannot hold the pointer so i am showing you with my fingertip this is the main trunk of the left coronary artery as it comes anteriorly it is divided into two main branches those are the anterior interventricular artery which is this large vessel and the circumflex artery which is this one hope you can see it clearly the anterior interventricular artery passes further anteriorly and it lies between the groove created by two ventricles which is the anterior interventricular sulcus so this is the anterior ventricular artery the circumflex artery passes further towards the left side and it winds around the left border of the heart as it passes there it gives off number of ventricular branches which you can see here there are some ventricular branches here and here also there are some ventricular branches here too and one of uh, one large branch of this ventricle one large uh, branch here is known as the obtuse marginal artery probably this should be the obtuse marginal artery in this heart after giving off these ventricular branches the main channel or the circumflex artery continues into the posterior atrioventricular sulcus and it passes towards the right side over the base of the heart to anastomose with the termination of the right coronary artery which i showed you before so you can i am showing you again the continuation of the left coronary artery which is this one very small in this heart it is very small and it comes and it anastomose should anastomose with the termination of the right coronary artery here the anterior interventricular artery gives off number of branches to the interventricular septum from above actually when you take the posterior interventricular artery it gives off number of similar branches to the interventricular septum from there and within the septum they anastomose up to some extent another important feature is the dominancy of the heart the dominancy of the heart is described based on which coronary artery gives off the posterior interventricular artery in most hearts most hearts the posterior interventricular artery is given off by the right coronary artery as you can see here in such cases we say the heart is right dominant but in some cases the posterior interventricular artery is given off by the continuation of the left coronary artery in such cases we call the heart is right dominant the venous drainage of the heart is through three sets of vessels first one is the is through the coronary sinus you can see the coronary sinus here as a dark color venous channel it is opened into the right atria right atrium here and 
uh, it is uh, sometimes embedded within the myocardium. Tributaries of the coronary sinus, you must know by now, there are five main tributaries, including the great cardiac vein, middle cardiac vein, small cardiac vein, and so on. Other two sets of vessels which drain the venous blood from the heart are the small cardiac veins, which you cannot see here in this territory, and the vena cordis minimi. Thank you.